Hello! <laughs> day one! Yes, we made it to day one <laughs> of this urine fast. Oh, I am so, so deeply touched with all your comments, all your messages, all your, just your input, your, uh, your wonderful divine reflection, <laughs> showing me so much love, so much support, so much um, gratefulness as well, appreciation, gratitude for this opportunity and actually I am the one who is so grateful to you for joining me in this amazing adventure <laughs> it's so beautiful to be able to do this fast together to know just to know that we are connected at the heart level at the soul level we are in this together you know and I'm sure it's the same for you all you know we are not alone doing this but we know that there is a group of wonderful souls all over the world who are just synchronizing you know tuning in into this this same commitment the same wonderful project of raising our frequency raising healing the world by healing ourselves because this is really it <laughs> we are oh, we are so wonderful i am so touched so moved by all of you thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my, my heart and i'm gonna be here very firmly just broadcasting sharing as much as i can every day making a video making posts uh, go to my facebook page or yeah on youtube as well <laughs> even though i was a little bit hesitant of sharing playing the public button pressing the public button on my previous videos because i was uh, i didn't look i didn't like the look on my face yesterday but now I'm seeing already the beautiful rejuven rejuvenation, regeneration effects of just soaking one day in my bathtub full of aged urine. Wow, it's so impressive. I love how my hair is looking today, how my skin is looking. Even though there are some symptoms of uh, already detox or just the activation of the blood flow, this uh, a little bit rosy or cheeks redness on my skin is because already the circulation has been activated the blood is flowing much more uh, intensively and this is because my body is sending this energy there to remove all the toxins and obstacles all the blockages on the way to allow more energy flow and this is exactly what I want because I want all this energy to reach to my upper layers of skin especially on my face to um, repair the um, aging process which is to me same like any other sickness it's not something natural it's just a byproduct of having contaminated my body with unnatural foods which i have been guilty of <laughs> indulging in over this uh, actually the past two years i haven't been so um, conscious with my normal raw vegan diet and doing so many exceptions and also going with the salt my salt addiction all over the place <laughs> so yeah now I have to purge, now I, now I have to make amends and correct what this caused in the damage that I saw, that I'm seeing that it caused in my body. But this is the beauty of, of the body, of having such a wonderful, perfect masterpiece of creation that is this oh, wonderful machine, that it is self-healing, it is self-repairing, there is nothing that it cannot fix all by itself and knowing about this wonderful tool of the urine therapy that we can use our own body fluids our own urine to speed up this process urine really is like a stem cell replacement therapy for free entirely for free there are stem cells in urine when you save when you collect your urine and you just let it age let it sit there let it age let it perfect itself let it go on a fast as well it goes on a fast and there it perfects itself the stem cells multiply and there you have an incubation of 
Oh, trillions and trillions of stem cells that you later on this plasma because it's blood's plasma you put it on your skin and you have an instant rejuvenation instant you, you have this energy entering into your body and literally stem cells doing the work becoming new tissue wonderful new tissue and I am seeing it and I'm gonna show you every day how further and further this continues and it's like really magic without any secondary uh, negative effects without any counter contraindications with no nothing nothing negative just pure magic pure positive pure uh, <laughs> pure auspiciousness <laughs> i don't know how else to to exalt this this is simply amazing and um, you are the signs you can watch it yourself if you put urine on any wound or burn or insect bite or whatever you know harm tissue that you might have is gonna heal much quicker much faster and there you can see in front of your eyes the evidence we have been lied about our urine it's not a waste product it's not something toxic something uh, disgusting and and pernicious to the body like with negative effects it's totally the opposite of that it comes from the blood and it is the most pure version of your body is the most pure part of your body having been even filtered many more times than the blood itself so it's purer than the blood itself it itself and it is also self healing self perfecting uh, like the body it's in essence the body is the water that is making up the body so it has all the same dna and function and, and just magic that is present in this wonderful masterpiece of creation <laughs> the same awareness the same con consciousness the same energy divine presence is in this plasma and you can see it as well if you just collect it and let it just sit there in a container you see how it evolves and it turns into this super potent magical elixir that you can later on reintroduce into your body and that's how you speed up the process in your body so i am going to share with uh, first of all i'm going to share what i what has been this first day of this urine fast i am feeling so happy yeah, because we are doing this together. I feel uh, connected at uh, so beautiful at the soul level and heart level with all of you. And yeah, whenever, especially when I'm feeling like a little bit weak minded and like, oh, I miss some nice taste in my mouth. I think of you, I think of, no, we're doing this. We're, yeah, we have, we have started, we're doing this, we're doing this and together. <laughs> and uh, it's wonderful. I thank you so much for being there with me. And you can join also tomorrow if you cannot join today, but, uh, or, or do it at your own pace, in your own way. Start by fasting from, something else you know and then gradually include more and more stuff eliminate more stuff from your consumption daily consumption and then until you can really join a full on urine fast or any other fast that you prefer to do a dry fast whatever the urine fast is simply the most for me in my experience the most quickest way to reach there to that goal of purification of my body so in this sense i'm gonna share with you what i did today first um in the <laughs> early hours of the morning i started my day with a shot of aged urine of this potentized version this evolutionary urine <laughs> um which is so so ah just pure magic you know you know i i, I took the shot and what i do after drinking it because it's um, sometimes it's very strong the taste it gets um, the taste of mine actually is very neutral because I saved my urine when it was um, my diet was very good I was just eating fruits and s drinking lots of water uh, especially hibiscus tea 
uh, Te de Jamaica, um, you know this flower, hibiscus, is really wonderful to purify the blood, to cleanse the blood, so it makes the urine come out very neutral, no taste, no color, no smell, nothing, it's like water, the most delicious water. So I saved this urine from a fruit diet, from, from just Every time I saw that my urine was oh delicious, tasteless, I drank a little bit, like half of it, and the other half I kept saving, I kept collecting in the same container. And then I filled up a very big container with it and let it run its course, let it the time pass and become more evolved and perfect itself, purify itself even more, and it turns into this potent version of urine and so I'm using that the taste is still the same very neutral like water no taste but the sensation has become very intense it feels like it burns in the throat just like when you drink a um, liquor or you know whiskey or something um, strong like that because the, of the presence of ammonia and ammonia develops naturally in urine because it's a self-cleansing mechanism the urine contains bacteria from the body you know bacteria and also residues of cooked foods, unnatural stuff that we have been putting into our body and they are present in our blood as well. So this garbage, so to speak, these waste things that are also present in the urine, but are really a minute part of the urine. Most of it is precious, precious, high quality, high vital substances that are so important for the body. Um, but yeah, the urine is alive and in its, it, perfect divine intelligence it starts this purification process and out of this process one mechanism is to develop ammonia in order to fight the bacteria or the microorganisms uh, that are present in the urine that which come from the body and um, and during this period where there is ammonia it, it becomes this very strong uh, also the smell you know the typical smell of ammonia but it gets reduced also. After a month, it stops smelling like ammonia. It, it, it really vanishes. Provided you keep the urine, the container open, like in contact with air. It's, you allow the urine to breathe. Because this um, helps also the urine in fighting the bacteria, in fighting, in, in just like air, right? When we breathe, this is what really keeps us alive. This is what really nurtures us or gives us um, the energy. Is this, this, this contact with the elements outside, with the air, the element air, which is also a divine creation where a divine energy is present, cosmic energy is present, prana, chi, you know, we are discovering these things that everything is vibrate, every, everything is at um, energy. And this is an alchemical, um, it, it creates an alchemical reaction when you allow the air to get into your your body, into your blood, and into your cells. It vigorizes you, and the same for the urine because the urine is also you. It's your body. It's your essence. It's your body in a liquid form. It's your cells. They are alive, and it's the same with them. It's important to let them breathe, and when this happens, the oxygen takes care of finishing or supporting this cleansing work and then the ammonia is not anymore needed when this purification process is completed the ammonia level goes completely down and you don't have any more bad smell so the key is to keep the urine uh, the container open and here I have something else to show you I cover it with a cloth and I have found this very inexpensive way to do it, uh, which is with this garden fleece. You know, the, the, the kind of tissue, very delicate tissue, 
that is almost transparent but it's wonderful to protect the urine from any insects that want to get in and it's very inexpensive a couple of dollars <laughs> and you buy it at any garden store um, I, yeah, I keep it covered and it allows the urine to breathe and it protects, it protects it from insects that want to go, get in there, especially flies and fruit flies, even the smaller ones, because they know, they know the truth about this powerful elixir of life and they use it to, to incubate their babies. And if it happens that a fly might get in and put their eggs, lay their eggs into this amniotic fluid, which is urine, which is, yeah, it's amniotic fluid. Um, and then it happened to me that I saw all of a sudden little tiny white worms floating in my urine. Then don't worry, don't panic, <laughs> because they are just babies. They are totally harmless. It's not making the urine uh, useless <laughs> don't worry you can still use the urine i have kept urine using the same urine i just used this to scope them out carefully cleanse the the urine or filter it also through strain it through a cloth like this put it in another container and then i continue using using it as usual and drinking it, uh, absorbing it through my skin uh, with the whole body rubs, etc., etc., enemas, etc., and everything fine. Yeah. Um, this I also use after doing my, my soaks <laughs> in this urine bath that I created, that I'm gonna show you in a video. Uh, I use this to take out. Um, you know, every day I see that there is some formation of like um, like a film on top of it. It starts covering the entire uh, surface of the urine, and it's like um, mucus. You know, it it's, it is the urine encapsulating, continuing its perfect per per uh, how do you say perfection work? It, it's perfecting uh, process and. Um, separating all the waste, all the food residues, all the bacteria, whatever is there that it should come out, just like it happens in the body. I am also experiencing a lot of mucus coming out of my nose and my body encapsulating all this toxicity that is now, you know, garbage that has to be removed and it's with this mucus, um, um, yeah, slimy stuff that the body itself creates to be able to just um, yeah just 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 keep it <laughs> contained and uh, separate you know isolated so I do this and I scope out this formation that usually rises on top of the urine and I'm gonna show it to you later on in a video when I see this happening again and some of the residues some of the garbage uh, that is also encapsulated sinks to the bottom of the container and that can also be separated when you place the change the urine from one container to the other um, another thing I have here is um, this syringe uh, which is the largest I could find is 100 milliliters which I use for enemas <laughs> and of course using as well my potent elixir um, this is wonderful to cleanse the bowels to really affect the very 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 speed uh, um, just flushing of the system and I have kept doing the enemas all the time like since I wake up, I, one after the other, if I need more quantity, then I just put um, one syringe after the next. And I try to keep it there for as long as possible before letting it all go. And when my body cannot retain it any longer, of course, I flush and then I repeat. And like that, again and again and again and again. And the last one I try to keep inside for many hours until the next session of enemas. And 
At night, I try to also keep at least half of a syringe inside. I sleep with it. And during this time, when you allow it more time to, for the H urine or the, the, this potent urine to be in your intestines, it gets absorbed. The body reabsorbed it into the bloodstream and it's the most amazing feeling when you it really you literally feel it when it's reaching all your start circulating through your entire blood and reaching all your cells. It's incredible. You feel like all of a sudden um, all your cells wake up and start breathing really it's like you feel injected with liquid oxygen it's very very impressive to go through this experience and you will do it you will know what I'm talking about once you start doing practicing these enemas and it takes time until you're able to retain them for a longer period um, of time and also removing the more you remove and the more you will feel this oh, amazing just magic <laughs> of which is the your own wonderful divine energy flowing through all your body channels without any blockages what else do we have here something else oh yes ah uh, this um so Somebody was asking mm, <laughs> how I manage with the smell, you know, because ammonia also has this very distinctive smell. And yes, my bathtub filled of, with urine was pretty smelly for the first month. But as I told you, after this time passed and it was uh, in contact with the air, um, now it's not smelling at all anymore but during this time i used a mixture of um, essential oils diluted in distilled water or even in uh, rose water and this is for my hair my body if i feel that there is some still some smell but now it's not the case anymore for a long time it hasn't been the case because that also that smell if it comes from the body is related to impurities still present in the body that are still detoxing the, the body is still detoxing the body has not yet completed its cleansing work and so these impurities this garbage comes out and it's very smelly um, but yeah once you have reached to a fairly good level of <laughs> cleanliness inner cleanliness you actually start smelling like a baby again very beautiful very naturally like roses i don't know like something brand new is so beautiful it's really amazing it's very impressive when this happens oh that you recover your not only your energy when you were a little child but also your beautiful smell from a newborn baby <laughs> this is really possible <laughs> and as far as the smell in the room because this is the biggest issue really that we don't, you don't want your whole house to <laughs> all of a sudden smell of a, like a public toilet <laughs> what i do is very effective you know it's a very good trick and very inexpensive as well i take a bucket um, and fill it up with very hot water and then i pour a little bit of um what's the name of bleach bleach into it you know bleach yeah, very inexpensive, uh, very chemical as well. Don't so try to not touch it or not yeah, <laughs> let it go into the, your urine. Not at all, please. <laughs> but it's it's great to completely, it, it, you know, the, the fumes with the hot water. Just a little bit of like a little cup of bleach is enough. The fumes evaporate, and this completely changes the. I don't know there is some reaction in the air that it totally vanishes the the smell of ammonia and then you end up with um, kind of a smell like a um, s swimming pool you know like when you go to, to a, any type of uh, swimming pool complex yeah th that smell in the air of a little bit of chlor chlorine uh, is not the best but 
you know, it's only for this period of time where you have to deal with the urine purifying itself, going through their, its own detox process. Which, yes, as I said, it can be just one month or one month and a half. Give it or take one to two months, yeah? And what I also do is put some uh, drops of essential oil in the same bucket and then it diffuses as well with these aromatic fragrances of any kind of flower that you like or you know i i love for example cedar wood as well and uh, jasmine ylang ylang you know any f of any kind of these beautiful flowers and yeah and besides that the usual palo santo or incense sticks that works as well or uh, fragrance candles with fragrance <laughs> so yeah it's not really a big deal but you have to maintain continuously do something sometimes I also pour the essential oil some drops on top of the cloth that is covering the urine container and that also works as well um, besides that what else can I share with you well uh, after this first shot that I did in the morning now talking about this day how uh, it went for me um, I went into my bathtub my urine bathtub and I spent there for almost two hours one and a half hours and feeling amazing seeing ah, all the the effects already in my skin in my hair and also my well-being I feel oh everything is so much more fluid and then right after that i also saw how my body was uh, much more effective in in uh, just continuing with all its internal processes uh, like i could go to the toilet and there was so much <laughs> coming out all by itself even without the the enemas and now i'm gonna go back in, into my bathtub and repeat the same because i wanna keep a score of almost of at least four hours a day soaking in this bathtub maybe even longer every day so we will see how this goes and this is as far from me for as an update for this first day and i hope you keep also maintaining this same oh, this determination to continue on this path and one last tip I can give you if you are about to oh, break your f fast or about to just give in to the food cravings is try to sleep really just tell to, your, tell to yourself okay I'm gonna take a nap I'm gonna rest and after that I will decide because really that's a very great trick for me to do like a reboot go back inside tune back with my inner essence and when i wake up i have this connection again with my soul and this awareness and I, it's a reminder why i started and i'm fully charged again in my willpower to continue and i'm so thankful that i didn't break my fast i really i always say oh thank god i didn't eat anything <laughs> So that's the last thing for me. I love you. Mwah. Stay wonderful. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Bye bye. <laughs>